Kicker here, uh, back with another video. Um, I had a lot of you guys mention on Twitter you guys want to uh, have a video about fishing line. So basically we're going to be talking about all the different types of fishing line, when to buy this, when to buy that. Uh, we're going to cover it all, and uh, hopefully after this video you guys find it helpful. So, so starting off with the first type of fishing line, it's probably the most common. It's an all-around uh, fishing line, which would probably be monofilament right here. So this is 8 pounds, Zebco, Omniflex, 700 yards, monofilament. It's a really low end. This is probably my favorite monofilament to use only because it's cheap. Um, I mainly find myself using 8 pound uh, for trout fishing, bass fishing. It really does uh, the works. Um, and sometimes I'll use a monofilament leader when I'm using braided line. I'll talk about that later. Uh, but as you guys can see, uh, monofilament is this really plasticky nylon type line that's made out of monofilament. Um, monofilament is by far the stretchiest type of line. Um, I can feel the stretch um, when I pull that. And uh, it's really good for, uh, it's probably the, mo it's been out the longest out of all three lines uh, that we're going to talk about, being monofilament, braid, and fluorocarbon. But this right here uh, is probably going to be your cheapest bet. Um, and it's a really good main line. Uh, so if you guys want to get something cheap that works really well, uh, monofilament is definitely going to be your best bet. Now brand wise, um, I can uh, my favorite uh, monofilament to use is uh, Zebco. Um, I also kind of like Strin a, a really uh, good amount. Uh, South Bend kind of works, but I haven't really had uh, much luck with it, but uh, definitely uh, Zebco um, Omniflex is my favorite, or you can get um, uh, the Zebco Outcast, which is also really good as well. Now we're going to move on to the next type of nylon type line, which would be fluorocarbon right here. So fluorocarbon is kind of, it looks almost identical to monofilament, but there are a couple factors that you get when you use fluorocarbon lines. So, uh, it's also stretchy, but it has a lot less stretch to it. Fluorocarbon, I also use this for leaders. Anytime I'm using a braided line, I prefer fluorocarbon because it's, uh, 100% floor, fluorocarbon is almost virtually invisible to the fish. Um, I also love that. This is 17 pound fluorocarbon, uh, 250 yards. Uh, this is the Berkeley Vanish. Um, I really prefer, if I'm using a fluorocarbon, I really prefer P line, uh, 10 pound P line for leaders. But anytime I want to just use just a regular fluorocarbon line, I'll just use this stuff. Uh, it's just a really good line. Uh, I don't usually use it as a main line, obviously, but uh, it's still a really good line nonetheless. Uh, and of course, it has that very low stretch to it, and it's uh, monofilament is also a lot more abrasion resistant than fluorocarbon. Um, so fluorocarbon has probably the second least amount of abrasion resistance, but a lot of people use it. And also, uh, another difference between monofilament and fluorocarbon is monofilament floats, fluorocarbon sinks, uh, which is why uh, it's hard to fish topwater with anything but monofilament or braid because braid just sinks really well and it kind of gives that little bait a little bit um, of a tip down towards the head. But that is to be expected when you're talking line and you're trying to get the right line for top water fishing or anything. Uh, the next type of line, which I don't really have on hand but I have the spool, which would be braided line. Now braid, I have, uh, this is my favorite braid to use, hands down. The Daiwa J Braid times four, uh, 20 pound dark green. Uh, 20 pound is my go-to braid. I use this when I'm bait casting or even sometimes catfishing. Um, this stuff is super, super good, especially the Daiwa brand. This is my definite favorite. This is the only usual thing that I use by Daiwa. Uh, braided line, a good thing to note, has no stretch. Um, it has basically uh, no stretch, that means it's more sensitivity, so you can detect the smaller bites and the more sensitive, smaller uh, bites, like smaller like rock bass or something in your bait fishing, they barely twitch the rod with monofilament or fluorocarbon. So this really helps out with that. 
Uh, it's really good for bass fishing because you get to pull them out of mats and stuff like that uh, when you're bass fishing. So that's also uh, quite a difference. Um, I was going to say, also, the abrasion resistance on braid is crap. Like, total terrible. If I just rub a knife just around it, boom, it's going to break like that. So I always like to use a fluorocarbon leader anytime I'm using braided line. So obviously I didn't cover everything about um, braid or monofilament or fluorocarbon in this video, but I covered just the basics. So um, I also want to tell this uh, one last thing here. Fluorocarbon is the most expensive out of all the lines, just so you guys know. Uh, the uh, monofilament is the cheapest. Braid is the uh, route in the middle. And fluorocarbon is the most expensive. So I basically covered everything in this uh, video that I needed to. I know there's a lot of things that you guys are probably going to blow me up in the comments that I left out. But I also, um, hopefully this video helped you guys. And hopefully you guys can, you know, get more into fishing about this. So, hope you guys stay safe. Respect the quarantine. Hope you guys have a great day. And as always, stay on the barb. And I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.